Now let's check the base station and N20 camera in the view app. You are able to see all cameras connected to the M1 base station on the device list. Tap the ellipsis icon in the top right corner to browse base station setting info. If you have installed an SD card for footage, you are able to see space status here. We recommend you to format the SD card prior to use. We could see a preview display for each of the cameras on the device list with four quick accesses on the function bar. Quick message to browse alarm notifications triggered by motion detection and AI human detection. A screenshot of the event is provided and the live view icon will lead you to the coordinated time with footage of the event. You can also click the playback icon to check intact footage from the SD card. The cloud storage preserves the footage in the cloud available to be retrieved under the worst scenery like vandal or burglary. You can subscribe our US-based cloud storage service for data safety of footage. Select the cloud video to acquire detailed info of the event. You can also delete and download the cloud video or take a screenshot and record the video itself and save them in album of the app. Tap setting icon to enter the setting of the camera. In basic function settings, the camera works with WDR tag providing great image and a high lightning ratio scene, such as direct sunlight projection. When temper alarm is enabled, the camera will trigger a siren and an anti-break alarm when it's removed to notify you about any suspicious activities. N20 camera also supports two-way talk, which allows you to talk through the camera like instant communication. You can also adjust the recording time and max recording time here. The recording time decides the duration of the recording after the alarm is triggered. Duration of movement decides your recording time and is limited by your setting for max recording time. For instance, We've set the recording time 10 seconds and the max recording time 1 minute. The camera will shoot some recordings no more than a minute if anyone comes at the door by the camera and lingers. N20 camera provides high clarity of image with IR light fit for night time. You can also change the IR night vision mode by the app. We also recommend you enable the human body filtering function in detection alarm setting to reduce false notifications. It allows the camera to recognize human body shape. You can also adjust the motion detection duration here, which controls the camera to start recording with a continuous movement with a certain period. And it helps to avoid false notifications from pedestrians. Below is the alarm interval function. You can set a cooling time between each single recording. Type PIR to adjust PIR sensitivity to low, medium, and high level to achieve better battery life performance. Then we have power management settings. Feel free to set a low battery alarm threshold and you will receive notification for charging your camera before the gas completely drained. Let's see what's new in the live view. At the bottom left, is the resolution setting, standard definition and full HD mode are provided. There are five functions for the function bar under the live view screen. Sound switch, screenshot, microphone, recording, and full screen switch. Sound switch allows you to turn on or off the sound of the footage and preview. Push the screenshot button to save the live view to the app album. Tap microphone button to talk through the camera if the camera is on two-way communication mode. By pressing recording button, you may record video synchronized with your preview screen. Recorded video clips will be saved to the Love View app album. Press the last icon at the bottom right for full screen viewing. And all cloud videos will be displayed below the preview and it will be automatically updated every day. Feel free to check what's new about your camera. Our N20 camera works with smart voice assistants, such as Amazon Echo Show and Google Home. Apply Echo Show to view a live stream by simply saying, Alexa, show me my backyard camera. 
You can find common issues with solutions in the View app. And if a problem is not resolved, please feel free to send us the feedback and we will reach you once we receive it.